it's Amy Kidwell with Heart and Home Orlando, and today we are at Waterley, a beautiful community here in the Horizon West area of Winter Garden, Florida. And today we're touring another one of their inventory homes. This home behind me is their Inwood floor plan, and it is an amazing home. This home is here, it's ready, it's waiting for you. And before we take a look inside, I want to take a minute to show you this front exterior elevation. The front exterior elevation is how the front facade of the home looks. And in this particular elevation, you have this really large covered front porch with all of these arches and it is beautiful. A great place to sit out here with a glass of iced tea or some lemonade and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful area. So let's go ahead and take a look at this home. This inward floor plan is two stories. A two story home that's a little over 2,500 square feet 2542 i think four bedrooms and man oh man is this an incredible home so we're going to take a look at some of the design choices as well because even though this home is semi-staged meaning it's not a full model home they have put some small pieces of furniture and decorative items here in the home to give you a better sense of what this home could look like once you and your family make this house your home so let's take a quick look here in the foyer so as soon as you've come in this really beautiful flooring has been extended throughout this first floor with the exception of the bedroom. But look at this nice, beautiful rectangular, like wood plank look flooring is absolutely beautiful. You've already got a really nice color here on the walls, a nice neutral palette and wait till you see the kitchen. But before we get there, I want to show you what's over here. So this floor plan, remember it's four bedrooms. So you have downstairs, you have this one bedroom. The master is in the second floor in this particular floor plan, but you do have this really large room here on the first floor. Now think about you and your family and who would be living in this home and how you need to best utilize this space. So for me, this would be a great room that could double as an office as well as a guest room. You've got enough space in here that if you needed to have a desk area and a work area, you've got plenty of floor space for that. You could also have maybe a pull-out sofa or a day bed, some other way for your guests to be able to spend the night if, if you choose. Or you may need this as a full-time bedroom or you may just need it as a full-time office. But think about this space. This space is located at the front of the home. So you have those beautiful windows that perfectly centered with those beautiful arches and you have a great great, great view out of those windows to get that work done or to rest and relax. Right over here to my left, to your right, you have a downstairs full bath. So you'll notice that this has the shower stall. There's no tub, but you do have a shower stall, making this another great location for that guest room for friends and family because it's Florida and you know people are going to come visit. So over here to the side, you're going to have a really nice big long, I call them a Harry Potter closet because it's nice and deep and it also tucks back down and around. So it's a great space for extra storage because again, you know, you're gonna need some space. And over here to the side, you have a linen closet. This is your entryway to your garage and then take a look at the main hub of your home. So this is your downstairs, your family room area. You have this big, beautiful arch that kind of acts as a partition or a, or a pass through rather for the kitchen um, eating area as well as this family room. There is a ton of space in here and really, I'm not kidding, I love this layout. This is really, really beautiful. You know, upstairs you also have a loft, so you've got a lot of extra spaces here in this home for people to hang out and play and to mix and to mingle. And this is a really great floor plan. I love it. Remember, this is the Inwood floor plan. Take a look at the way they have it semi-staged too, because to me that really gives you a much better idea and a realistic expectation of what you can uh, put into your home and how much space you have once you do. And look at me, I'm walking all around this table. You have a nice glass uh, round table here underneath of the lighting fixture, which again, remember this is an inventory home. So look at that lighting fixture because it could be your lighting fixture. You have this um, island here. You have the overhang as well as um, plenty of room for, like they have what, three, three stools here. So it's a great kind of bar eating counter type area. Take a look at the design features. This is really, truly beautiful. And I'm not kidding, I like the furniture that they have in here. I wonder if we could sell it like with the furniture. I don't know. There's a beautiful color palette, so keep that in mind if this becomes your home. So this granite is um, deeper grays, creams, browns, little flecks of black in there, and um, as well as, like I said, the creams and the browns. So you have a really nice neutral palette. Goes perfectly with this wood flooring. And then take a look at the cabinet. So if you like white light and bright cabinets, this is your home. Beautiful kitchen, really nice stunning brushed nickel hardware, as well as that backsplash. I really cannot tell you um, how beautiful this is. I hope, it, I hope it portrays as beautifully on video as it does while I'm standing right here inside. But this is a stunning home. Again, you've got your microwave, you've got your flat top range. You, of course, you have your 60-40 sink, garbage disposal, dishwasher, and then back over here, 
Looks can be deceiving. That's a pretty big pantry. You might think, oh, it's in the corner. It's not very big, but there's a ton of space there in that pantry. I think it's going to hold quite a few of those family sized boxes of Frosted Flakes. All right, now here's my favorite part of this home. Take a look at this. Do you see the enormous amount of sliding doors that you have that's going to take you out to your outdoor area? Backyards are really important. And you know, yard space in Florida, yeah, it's, sometimes it's hard to come by, but not on this particular lot. Take a look at this. So you have a covered lanai space here. So this is already paved. You've got the pavers down. It's covered lanai. Great for your barbecue grill. Great for your chairs, table, sitting and lounging. But if you wanted to add some additional backyard outdoor living space, if you want to extend your pavers, maybe create a pool area, or a fountain with some water features, if you want a playground for your kids, whatever creative way you want to design your backyard, take a look at all the space that you have. You can probably see that you already have a privacy wall. So the privacy wall backs up to a road that's actually a private road. It's not a heavily traveled road. It's very private because the only people that travel up and down that road are the people that live in the community right down there, which is also a small community. So keep that in mind. You're not backing up to a major roadway and you have all of this space. One of the things to remember is that the HOA fees here in this particular community include lawn maintenance. So this grass that we're standing on, you don't even have to cut it. That flower bed over there, you don't have to maintain it. So there's a lot of really good perks about living in this community. Um, one important thing is the amenity center itself. So we're to take a look at that amenity center video maybe right after you watch this video so you can see all the fun perks that you're going to have but take one more look at this backyard before we head upstairs this is really a great amount of space okay guys we're going to take a look upstairs so while we do i'll uh, let you look at the backyard okay so what did you think of that backyard it's pretty awesome right not as awesome as this upstairs though. I wanna show you the second story of this Inwood floor plan. Remember, this is an inventory home, so we're not just looking at the floor plan, but we're looking at some of the design options as well. So you'll notice that now that we're upstairs, we have carpet. That beautiful flooring that we had is still in the wet areas, meaning it's going to be in the bathrooms and in the laundry room upstairs, but now we have a really nice plush tan carpet, really beautiful. But right behind me is the loft area. So if you need that additional space, if you've got kids and they need their own zone, they need like a little place to either do homework, or to, to play their video games or to do their board games. This is a great loft area for them to do that. It's kind of intimate. I like that. It's nice and middle connected here in the upstairs floor plan. It's really nice, perfectly located. It's a nice size. Could do some really creative things with that. So upstairs we have three bedrooms, two bed, regular bedrooms as well as the master. So here's one of those bedrooms, really nice size. And I really, it's a really important to me to be honest about these bedroom sizes. And these are nice. These are not small bedrooms, plenty of room in here. You can see again, they have it semi-staged, but there's a lot of space in here. You could really put a queen size bed in here and have plenty of room. So nice space here in this room. Over here you have your laundry room. So your laundry room is upstairs, which is kind of important to know. Some people like the laundry room on the first floor, but if the bedrooms are on the second, why do you want the laundry room on the first floor? So super smart. The uh, laundry room is upstairs. So this master bedroom, okay, this master bedroom is beautiful. I love this. I also love it because of the way it's semi-staged. And again, it gives you such a realistic feeling of what you can do with this space and how much additional space you have. So here we are from essentially corner to corner. Keep in mind, there's still this bit of a hallway entrance back behind me. But look at all of the space you have in here. You have this dresser and you have all of this space all the way up to this bed. And this is an actual king size bed. So this is not a, a like miniature version of a bed. This is a real size bed and you still have a ton of space. Over back behind me, you have the master bathroom. This master bathroom gives you both the tub and the shower stall, as well as a nice long set of counters and cabinets with the, both uh, his and her sinks. Really nice layout in here. It's just, it's long, it's easy to access. You don't have any turns and kind of weird corners in it. It's just a really nice layout. You also have a really big closet. Let's take a peek at that. Cause I know closet space is super important. So master closet, again, you have all of this space back behind me, goes all the way back. One hit my head, there we go. A lot of space back here. So the master bedroom is on the second floor in this home. So if the, if the master matters to you, if you really want it on the second floor, if you really want it on the first floor, just keep that in mind. In this inwood floor plan, the master's on the second floor. So back over in this direction, we have one more bedroom and another full bath. So this is the full bathroom that those two kids' rooms or two guest rooms are going to be utilizing. But what's really nice is you have two sinks. And again, this is an inventory home. So we have the same granite and the same cabinets and the same hardware and the same flooring 
that we saw in the kitchen, which makes it really nice. It's a very cohesive design and it's a very neutral palette, ready for any splash of color that you decide to pop into it. Now, if you take a look back behind me, you of course have the privacy door for the tub as well as the toilet. So if one kid's showering or using the restroom, the other one can be brushing their teeth because kids are supposed to brush their teeth, right? Okay, good luck with that. All right, and here we are in the, uh, the last bedroom. And again, take a look at the space in here. You really do have a lot of space from corner to corner. Here we go. A lot of real usable space in this bedroom, as well as this nice big walk-in closet you have back behind me. A lot of great space in here. So again, let's wrap this one up because this one's not gonna be here very long. In fact, you know what? They may have sold it today because this community sells like hotcakes. They really, really, truly do. So we are in phase one of Waterley. Waterley is a DR Horton community and this is their Inwood floor plan. Now you can still build the Inwood floor plan, but this particular home that I'm standing in obviously is here and it's ready and waiting for you and your family. Priced right around or just a little bit above 350 at the moment, this is a great buy. Now this home also comes in the community where they have an incredible amenity center that offers you not only a pool and a clubhouse and a fitness center, walking trails, fishing pier. For the kids, they also have miniature golf built into the amenity center. That's right, I'm not kidding, miniature golf. So this is an incredible community, an incredible builder, and this is an incredible home that I hope becomes yours. So thank you for watching, give me a call, because remember, I'm a buyer agent. I don't work for the builders, I don't represent the builders. I'm a realtor here in Florida, and I'm working for you, helping you find a home. So call me so I can help you buy this home, or help you find one if this one isn't quite the perfect home for you. 407-848-8042. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can be updated with all the latest and greatest video tours of model homes, inventory homes like this one, amenity centers, resale homes, everything you want, I got it for you. Okay guys, give me a call 407-848-8042. Thanks for watching and happy house hunting.